and welcome back yet again. The next set of questions comes from uh, the cute Chong Art. And this girl is pretty cool, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> and she starts off, Oh my god, five questions! Random me kicks in the door! Ah! Okay, the first question you have is, Are you single? XD! Um, no, sadly I'm not single. Um, I'm not. I'm actually married. I apologize if that's offensive to you or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm not single. Moving on! Number two, do you have a Facebook? Yes, I do. Number three, if you have a Facebook, then can I have the URL so I can friend you? Yes, I've already sent it to you via PM. You can friend me on Facebook if you would like to. That's completely cool. That's fine. Number four, do you have any other websites you post videos other than YouTube? Um, the only one I really post any videos to is Blip TV. And even then, not very often. But yeah, that's about the only other website I truly use for my videos. And last question is, will you dress up as Sailor Moon for me? X D D D D D D D D D D D D D. Um, if you saw my previous video where I show my face, right? You don't think I would make a very good Sailor Moon, would you? <laughs> um, I prefer not to dress as Sailor Moon. That I got a few friends who dress in the Sailor Senshi outfits, <laughs> and I don't want to piss them off by ruining that which they love. <laughs> Next question comes from Waken Shio. And the first question they have is, if you could take over any country, which one would it be? Um, I would like to take over our own bloody country, or at least America, you know, for the sole fact that I live here and I'm pissed off with the government. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not going to get into the whole thing, because if I went into a spill on the government and my thoughts on the government, that would take a good hour-long video in and of itself. Question number two, boxers or briefs? I prefer briefs because I like support. I'm not all big into the whole hanging loose style down there. <laughs> Number three, who would win in a fight to the death, Joshua or Meta? I honestly think both of them would die. Um, they wouldn't know what they're doing and somehow they'd end up killing themselves in the midst of trying to fight each other. That's I honestly think that's what would end up happening because neither one of them have any idea what the hell they would be doing in a fight. Number four, what is the greatest movie you have ever seen? Well, so far at least. Um, I kind of answered that before in one of the in one of the previous questions, or one of the previous set of questions with my favorite movie, but I'll just go ahead and run over a few again. Some of the greatest movies I've seen, of course, Citizen Kane, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, um, Nine Before Time, which is, I said, was my nostalgic favorite movie. Um, then there's The Batmans by uh, Tim Burton, there's Nightmare Before Christmas, love that one, so on and so forth. Um, number five, why is American beer like having sex in a canoe? <coughs> Because it's strangely awkward, I guess? I don't know. Why? I have no idea. I've never had sex in a canoe. I've drank American beer, but I've never had sex in a canoe. Because one, it looked mildly uncomfortable to do so, and two, I really don't want to drown. <laughs> and I know if you're sitting there trying to do the dirty in a canoe and you're just going away at it, you're going to end up capsizing that canoe and you're going under. I guess that must be it. Every time you drink American beer, you're pretty much... Risking a chance to die right there, and every time you have sex in a canoe, you're risking a chance to die right there. I guess that could be uh, why they're similar. <laughs> Next question comes from the Hero of Tomorrow. You know, Shinobi Commentaries. Number one, who would you say is the greatest RPG hero you have ever played as? Um, that would have to be either Cecil from Final Fantasy IV, or it would have to be um, Laharo from Disgaea. Yeah, that would be it. Either Laharo from this guy or Assassin from Final Fantasy IV. Are some of my favorites. Um, nope. Also gonna add Chrono in there from Chrono Trigger. Despite the fact that he's completely and totally silent, uh, he's badass. Number two. What is your favorite type of real world martial arts? Uh, it's, strangely enough, I don't know that much about real world martial arts. Um, so I guess I can go with something like Kendo, which is a study of sword fighting. It's a sword art more than it is in martial arts, so yeah, I really don't know that much about martial arts in the real world, I'm sorry. Number three, have you ever seen my commentaries, and if so, do you like them? Yes, I have seen Shinobi commentaries. Um, some of them are pretty good. There are some that I'm sitting there going, okay, you got some issues, you could work on them. One of them in particular was when you did a commentary on um, Cyber Guy 2021 and Deer Mouse. Um, you made that video saying you were friends with them, which I understand you're friends, cool. Um, and you talked about how a bunch of people were talking about this is the worst commentary ever made. Um, some of us never said it was the worst, but it was horrendous. 
And even you, whenever you were doing your commentary on it, you were attacking their commentary, but then again, going around and saying, but don't worry, guys, it wasn't that bad. I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? Come on. It's one or the other. Either they did bad, or they're doing good. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, you've got some good ones, and you've got some that could have used a little work. But, yeah, so far, I think you're not too bad at commentaries. Yeah, I think you're pretty good at it, so. Number four is who would win into a fight to the death, Jaded Otaku Media or Confused Matthew? Um, Jaded Otaku Media, because at least he can put emotion in his voice. Uh, <laughs> Confused Matthew is just a, just completely and totally dull. He's already next to dead. So I figured Jaded Otaku Media, with what little bit of a life he has to himself, he would actually win that fight. And number five, if you could kill one YouTuber and get off scot-free, who would it be and why? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know if I should answer this question, because, yeah, this could, answering that question might get me in some trouble. Because uh, <laughs> this person, if I said it, would probably take it as a threat on them, and then they would come after me real hard. They'd be like, oh god, he threatened to kill me! <laughs> he would... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to answer that one because the person I would mention would think that I'm actually threatening them and everything, or they would try to run it off as that. They'd try to turn it around and be like, oh, I can take it in court because you said you're threatening to kill me. <clears throat> Next set of questions comes from Rambo21. First question, whom or what do you or would you like to see me draw? Um, I don't know. What would I like to see you draw? How about... Shadow Link running his sword through Shadvik's chest and also running it through Meta's chest at the same time. That'd be kind of fun. And there you go. That's kind of a shout out to Danny. <laughs> I'd like to see her her avatar stabbing two people who were apparently stalking her right through the heart. That'd be kind of funny, I think, at least. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's a little old. Drawing up a little bit of an old thing or something, but I think it would be kind of funny to see that myself. Um, number two, do you think I should retire from commentaries? Uh, I think that's more of a personal choice there, Rambo Twitty. Um, I'm not going to tell you whether you should or shouldn't leave commentaries. Um, what I will tell you is that your commentaries are hit or miss. There are some that have been pretty decent, and then there are some that I'm just like, dude, okay, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so yeah, they're, they're hit or miss. They really are. So that's kind of more of a personal choice, as it were, I say if you enjoy doing them, keep doing them because you can improve. You, I, I can see that you're someone who can improve. You can get better at them if you want to. So, that's up to you, man. The next set of questions comes from the Bowser Prime. Or maybe it's Optimus Prime. I don't know. Um, Bowser Prime asks, one, have you seen the Michael Bay Transformer films? If so, which do you think is the best? Yes, I've seen them. I like one. Two was the decent giant letdown for the most part. It really paled in comparison to the first one. And three was really good. I enjoyed three a lot. Uh, if nothing else, they brought in Leonard Nimoy, which got a lot of the original cast from the first movie back. Or not from the first movie, but the 1986, they got in a couple more of the voice actors by bringing in like um, Leonard Nimoy into the movie. I just thought it was great. It was, in my opinion, the best so far. They put a lot of work into it. They actually cared about the storyline this time and everything else. Number two, which do you prefer, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Um, I'm definitely a bigger Lord of the Rings fan than I am Star Wars fan. Um, I think they're better done, not only the movies, but the books as well, because there have been Star, there's Star Wars books and everything else out there. I think the books and the movies all are better. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, I love the original trilogy of Star Wars. I love that original trilogy. I just think the Lord of the Rings trilogy is much better. Number three, if you could transform into anything, what would it be? Um, and this isn't trying to play a nice little thing to the Twilight fan girls. No, um, honestly, I would like to turn into a wolf because that's quite possibly my favorite animal on this planet is wolves. I love the way that their social structure is set up. I love how their pack mentality, you know, how they support each other, how they do kind of what we humans are supposed to do, but we don't hardly anymore. We don't do what we should on our social structure. Our social structure is so screwed up, and I look at something like a wolf, and I say, man, look at this. It's a wild creature, and they've got a better social structure than we, our highly developed humans, don't. So I would turn into a wolf if I could transform into anything at any given moment and as I wanted to. 
Number four, what are your favorite recent animes? Um, Sekirei is a good one. I enjoy it. Although, funny story, because it does have a lot of uh, boobies in it. <laughs> it's got a lot of tits in it. And um, uh, I was watching it in my living room, and I've got a giant window there. And I never watched it before. I was watching it on my TV. And there was a scene where the main main uh, female character just rips off her shirt and everything. And I'm like, oh, God, okay, I'm fine with that. And then I see a bunch of... Like, uh, middle school girls walking down the street coming towards my house so they can see my TV, and I'm like, holy shit! God, close the window! <laughs> so I had to rush over and close the curtains on the window. But Sekirei is a great one. Um, there's, of course, Soul Leader's a great anime. It's more recent. Um, I guess, um, I, I don't know. There's things from Japan, like uh, Rosario Vampire. It's not overly recent, but it's newer. There's Deers. I enjoy it. Uh, there's just a lot of animes that I like that have come over, come up in the last few years. Question number five. After watching a review of Penny and Stocking, what is your favorite character from that show? I would have to say Stocking. Love that girl to death. Oh my god. She's cute, she's um, snarky, and if you got with her, I don't think you would catch anything, unlike her sister, Penty. Next set of questions comes from Rayaz. Or Rayraz, sorry. Question number one. Do you roleplay? Um, if you're considering... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. Yes, I do play Dungeons and Dragons. I play Sh or Shadow One or Shadow Run, Star Wars D twenty. Um, I've got one Anima. I've got that. I bought that book a while back. The Anima rule book. Um, I play a lot of tabletop games. And if you're talking about in the bedroom, it depends on what you want to be. Hmm. Question number two: Do you have deviant art? No, I do not. One reason is because I suck at drawing. Uh. <laughs> I really do. I suck at art. Um, I thought about doing it before for maybe some short stories because I like to write short stories on occasion. I like to just put down ideas on the paper. But no, I've never made a DeviantArt account. I haven't made one. I have no reason for one, really. Question number two. All right, three. Do you... Did you see Dark Adian's sexy video? If you're talking about the fat guy who's dancing around almost naked while saying it's for Kuchong Alt, and, you know, I guess it's meant to insult her or something like that. Yes, I saw that, and as for my reaction, it's more of a, does this guy have any self-respect? Do you care about what you look, make yourself look like on the internet? Because this isn't doing anything to her, it's just making you look like a freaking dumbass dancing around in your underwear. That's all it's doing. So, that's kind of my reaction. He's a goddamn idiot. Number four. A, according to you, fan of Soul Eater. I'm assuming you're asking me, am I a fan of Soul Eater? And yes, I am. It is a fantastic anime. I like it a lot. It's what Bleach should have been. You know, it's more of like how Bleach could have been if they would have taken the time to actually make it into a better anime. I enjoy the characters. I enjoy the art style. Oh, God, the art style is fantastic in that anime. Um, so, yeah, and it just doesn't leave you bored during the episodes, and even in their filler episodes, they bring in stuff like Excalibur, and when they bring in Excalibur, it's just hilarious, so even their fillers are entertaining. Number five, Sailor Moon the Best One or Chris Chan? Um, I would take Chris Chan over Sailor Moon Best One any day, if for no other reason that Sailor Moon is ruining the series Sailor Moon for me, and I actually kind of like the series Sailor Moon, it's a good anime series. Next set of questions comes from Bound with Flame 23. Are you enjoying tormenting Joshi? Um, yes, I enjoy doing those com those commentaries, and everyone should know that I do them for one sole reason, that's to make fun of Joshua, not to help him or anything of that sort. And yes, I do intend to make number five. I should have already had it done, but I've been putting it off. I've been lazy. Question number two. Have you played any of the games in the Tales series, i.e. Tales Symphonia, Tales of Rebirth, Tales of the Abyss, Tales of Destiny, Tales of Destiny 1 and 2, Tales of Fantasia, Tales of Eternia? Oh, wow. I'm able to continue your list. Yes, I have played them. I like them. I, uh, my favorite one so far is going to be Tales of Destiny 2. Um, I believe that, yeah, that's the one it is. Tales of Destiny 2 with Pharaoh and all them. Uh, the only issue with it is the voice acting can be very uh, grinding. It's got some bad voice acting to it, but Merity makes up for all of it with her cuteness. Oh god, that is one of the cutest characters in a video game ever, I swear to god. <laughs> and as for Tales of Symphonia, you said it wrong. It's not Tales of Symphonia, it's Tales of Copyright Infringement because they ripped off their story from Final Fantasy X. Next question, number three. If so, what did you think? Already answered that. Wow. Next question, number four. 
do you like Harry Potter? I've already technically answered this once during um, what kind of or what novels do I like? Yes, I enjoy Harry Potter. If so, do you prefer the books over the movies, or the movies over the books, or do you like them both equally? I prefer the mo- or the books over the movies, and that's how it stands with pretty much any adaptation that they do from a book to a movie. I will prefer the original work because they've taken more time in the original work than they can in the adaptation. And if you want to see a perfect example of why I prefer books over movies when it comes to adaptations, go watch the Aragon movie and then read the book. Oh God, uh, there is no comparison. The book is a million times better, and the book's uh, decent. Very, to tell you the truth, the Aragon series, the Inheritance series, is decent. The next set of questions comes from Noah Angel Wings six nine six one. Your favorite song? Um, that's a hard one to come with or come up with. I like. There's a song by H R Anime who most people won't know of called Danger. That's a fantastic song. I love it. Um, then there's a ton from like Dream Theater, the entirety of the Scenes from a Memory or Scenes from a Memory album, uh, Seven Days to the Wolf by Nightwish, uh, Wish I Had an Angel by Nightwish. Uh, there's a ton of songs out there I love. It's kind of hard for me to just pick a favorite song overall. Number two, do you like any Grand Theft Auto games? Um, I do like the Grand Theft Auto games up to the point where they become boring. See, the thing is, they become boring for me very quickly because it just turns into, oh, wow, another pointless mission who, and I'm going to kill a lot of guys. Yeah, okay, yeah. I. It, it just doesn't give me the enjoyment that it gives other people. I... I enjoy them. Honestly, I prefer the original Grand Theft Auto games, the old ones, where it was the old heads down or heads up view with the very little small spec, and that's who you are, and everything. Those are the ones I prefer, the old Grand Theft Auto games. Number three, what is the worst movie you've seen this year or past? I've already answered that before in one of the previous questions, and I answered it with Wanted. Number four, what is the worst anime you've seen? I've also technically answered this one too with the whole talk about Hemtaro and how I got a laugh out of people like Johnny and Bosch from that. And number five, any advice for Joshua? No, I have no advice for Joshua. And nobody should have advice for Joshua. There is no purpose in trying to give Joshua advice. It does you no good. You're hitting your head against a brick wall. You're screaming at a brick wall when you're trying to give Joshua or Shadvik the Hedgehog advice. <clears throat> it does no good. It's completely and totally pointless for you to try to do so. 